Hello everybody and welcome back to another video today. So for today's diecast, I am going to be reviewing three, two from the Xfinity series and one from the Cup series. So today we have Christopher Bell, Ty Gibbs, and Austin Sendrick. So and before I get into the review, let's take a look at the, this is the packaging for Austin Sendrick. And this is from the 2021 Wave 10 line. And on the back here, you can see the die cast on here. On the back, you, ha you can get from this wave is Michael McDowell, Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch, which I got from that wave, Austin Sendrick, which I got today, Christopher Bell, another one that's in this wave that I also got today. Ryan Newman, uh, Dale Jr.'s iRacing car, Kyle Larson, and the exclusive chase piece, uh, Alex Bowman's throwback scheme, which I have. And then, this, this is the packaging for Ty Gibbs, and this is from Wave 11. So here's all the die cash you can get from this wave. You got Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick, Corey LaJoy's throwback, uh, Jordan, no, not Jordan Anderson, Bobby and Roger Reuse, that race for Jordan Anderson, and Alex Bowman's uh, Memorial Day paint scheme. Both of those cars I have from that wave. They have Joey Gase, Eric Jones, Ty Gibbs, which I got today, and Bubba Wallace's uh, Dr. Pepper chase piece. So those are all the ones you can get. All came with a sticker here. So this is the Austin Cindric sticker, car shop. And then this is the one for Ty Gibbs, Princeton Priestein Auction. And then here's Christopher Bell, DeWalt Tools. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the review. We'll start with we'll start with Christopher Bell here. So let's go ahead and take a look at Christopher Bell here. So got the nice front here on the Toyota Camry. Uh, DeWalt Tools is a sponsor. Over here you got contingency sponsors like uh, such as Mac Tools. And a NASCAR Cup Series. This is a Cup Series stock car. Uh, Ween and Interstate Batteries. And Princeton Auctions.com. On the front, got the 20 on the uh, on the roof as long as DeWalt's. Along with that on the trunk. The trunk opening, the deck lid. On the side, same thing. And this is, I like, I like the design on this car with the black, the yellow with the black sh stripes all the way down on, on there. It's a pretty neat looking die cast. And uh, Christopher Bell, a little bit of background information. Uh, he ran trucks. Uh, he first started in trucks, and then Xfinity, and then in uh, in 2020 he moved over to he moved over to Cup, and bef and he raced for a different team. It was a Toyota team, but he raced for a different team before uh, Joe Gibbs uh, put him in the 20 car. At that time, Eric Jones was driving the 20 for Joe Gibbs Racing. So. Not very whole lot to say about this one other than I think it's a good looking die cast. So now let's move on to Ty Gibbs. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. And this is the first Toyota Supra die cast uh, along with NASCAR. This is the first uh, Toyota Supra NASCAR die cast that I have. Of course I don't really see these a whole lot much often 
at least for this model. So on the front, you got the nice Supra front end. You got the Prinstein logo. And uh, this is the uh, 54 car for Joe Gibbs Racing. And uh, on the side here, you got contingency sponsors, Xfinity series, interstate batteries. And the cool thing I like about this car is on the back, yep, that's right, it has wiki stripes. So, this is from 2021, as I said. So, I believe at that time, uh, Ty Gibbs was a wookie. He's currently like 19, so he, mu so he was uh, 18 when he started. So, you got the uh, 54 on the side, on the uh, front on the uh, hook or on the roof then uh, got the uh, Princeton auction on the deck lid there same side over here another really good design I love the black and the red stripes and the white it's looking good I also like the rookie stripes on the back makes it look great so a little bit of background information with the 54 car in the Xfinity series. So currently the 54 car belongs to the Joe Gibbs Racing to the to Joe Gibbs in the Xfinity series. Um, before then it, it used to belong to Kyle Busch Motorsports in which Kyle Busch drove this car in the Xfinity series. So, before he retired from the Xfinity series, he used to drive this car, but with uh, different sponsors, such as uh, Twix and uh, M&M's and Extras Gum. Never thought that would really be a sponsor in NASCAR. But yeah, and then once Bush retired from Xfinity, uh, the 54 ownership went to uh, tight. Went, went to Joe Gibbs, I think, or maybe Joe Gibbs uh, owned the uh, car earlier. I'm not sure when the ownership of the 54 went to Joe Gibbs, but Joe Gibbs owns the 54 car now, and Ty Gibbs is actually related to the car owner, Joe Gibbs. Yep, that's right, they're related. Uh, Joe Gibbs is Ty Gibbs' grandpa. So a little bit of uh, something to know here. And he's been doing incredibly well for, the, for, for this season. He's won a handful of races in the Xfinity Series so, this far. So it's good for him. So now we'll get him out of the way. And now for the final car, Austin Sendrick. So... Front, you got the old Mustang front end there, and you got carshops.com, Pennzoil, and this is for this is for him racing for Team Penske in the Xfinity series. So you got contingency sponsors as a discount tire, Menard, Snap On. Got the 22 there on the hood. Got car shop. On the back, callshop.com. Uh, you got a little bit of a pink on the bottom skirt of the car. It is also the uh, filling color for the 22. And uh, you can barely see it, but there are exhaust pipes, fake exhaust pipes on the below the bumper. There's also a pair of exhaust on the uh, back of uh, Ty Gibbs' car as well. So, you get the Ford license plate on the back. You got a contingency sponsor there. So, a little bit of background with the, the 22 in the Xfinity series, along with Austin Cendrick. So, before, before Austin Cendrick uh, drove this car, you guys may have known this already, but... Uh, the other Penske drivers such as Ryan Blaney, Brad Keselowski, and Joey Logano 
used to drive the 22 in the Xfinity series, so they would uh, share the ride each time for the Xfinity series races. So, and uh, I so after 2021, after Daniel Hemwick won against Austin Cindric for the championship. Uh, I believe that's when uh, Team Penske stopped racing in the Xfinity Series after 2021. And um, Austin Cindric here is actually an Xfinity Series champ. He won the championship back in 2020 for the Xfinity Series. But uh, currently, as of right now, he's moved on from the Xfinity Series. It is now a rookie and cup as we speak. Um, he actually ended up winning his uh, his first ever race, the Daytona 500. So that was very special for him. And uh, yeah, he's uh, in. He's joined Team Penske now, and he is currently driving the number two car for Team Penske Racing, in which Brad Keselowski used to drive. But he is driving the six car and is now a co-owner for Welsh Fenway. Racing, what it used to be called Welsh Fenway Racing, but is now called Welsh Fenway Kozlowski Racing. And I believe uh, uh, Kozlowski took over the six car because I believe, uh, I don't know if it was confirmed or not, but uh, after the 2021 season, I believe Ryan Newman retired. So, so yeah, I like the design on this car as well. So, there's your three diecast for review for today. So, that'll just about do it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and uh, comment down below. And uh, be sure, if you haven't already, to subscribe. It would really help out the channel. And uh, yeah, that'll just about do it. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.